Meanwhile, Western Australian police has shot and killed uh, an allegedly radicalized 16-year-old boy who had stabbed a man in a Perth car park. Police and the state premier confirmed that the 16-year-old was radicalized online and was believed to have acted alone. Well, they say that there was no ongoing threat to the public. The Western Australian Police Commissioner said that the incident certainly has all the hallmarks of a terrorism-related incident. However, officials have not yet declared it as one. There are indications he had been radicalised online. But I want to reassure the community. At this stage, it appears that he acted solely and alone. The 18-year-old victim of the stabbing is now reported to be in a stable condition at a hospital and is uh, doing well. Western Australian police responded on Saturday night after a call was made by an unknown person who told the operator that they were going to commit acts of violence. Later that night, police received another alert about the assailant running around a car park with a large kitchen knife. The police confronted the teenager with tasers and firearms, but as he refused to put down the knife, an officer fired a single shot which left the perpetrator fatally wounded. The teenager was allegedly known to police. According to reports, he was involved in a countering violent extremism program since 2022 in which he enrolled when he was 13. Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese extended condolences to the kin of the 16-year-old and also to the victim of the stabbing. Australia taking this in for generations and generations. You know, 60, 65,000 jobs. Uh,